Hello viewers, welcome back to Motor India's Trans Report. This is Rajesh Rajgaur and today with me is the director from Polko, Mr. Rohit. Hi Rohit, welcome to Motor India Trans Report. Thank, thanks, thanks a lot Rajesh. Uh, Rohit, we wanted to understand uh, from you, you know, what does Polko exactly do for the truck and trailer segment? Uh, so let's start with an overview, a brief background about your company, your presence in the truck trailer segment. Uh, a little bit brief of Polko, I'll, I'll probably start with that, is that we are the largest manufacturers of car and two-wheeler body covers in India, uh, supplying to all the OEMs uh, in India for the four-wheeler, two-wheeler, uh, three-wheeler, all the all the vehicle segments. And uh, we have the uh, one of the largest manufacturing uh, facilities for these body covers. Uh, we are based out of uh, Mumbai, uh, Bivandi, with a, a daily capacity of almost 3,500 pieces a day, uh, for manufacturing in our two plants and uh, supplying to all the OEMs. Uh, we are also an exclusive partner of DuPont for the Tyvek range of body covers, supplying for the last 15 years now in India. And uh, we, have a we have the largest variety of products that uh, you know one would get in the body cover segment. Uh, in addition to that, our new vertical was uh, the truck and trailer segment where we uh, partnered with uh, Versus Omega which is a Belgium based company, uh, wherein we are supplying uh, these products to uh, all the trucking and the trailer segments, uh, uh, where we buy the products which are patented by Versus uh, Omega, and we supply uh, good quality products to the truck and trailer segment. Our main purpose was to, uh, or is to change uh, the way we have been working in the truck and trailer segment, wherein we can bring in a lot of efficiency and we can bring in a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, new age technology to the trucking segment. So at the moment, uh, the, the, the largest part of the trucking segment in India is hard body, whereas we are trying to convert it into soft body segments, wherein, uh, you know, loading and loading becomes more efficient and more easy for the, uh, for the business. Uh, as you know, that cost is a very big, uh, uh, you know, concern in all, in all uh, possible business segments. So cost of time and cost of loading and loading time is very, very uh, big. And hence, uh, you know, this will really save, save up on a lot of time. Okay. It also saves up on a lot of energy cost, fuel cost, because it, it's much more lighter than hard body. And uh, yes, it is printable. Hence, it makes it look even more fancier and uh, uh, proper. Correct, correct. So, yeah. like you rightly mentioned, you know, the, the truck and trailer market in India, especially for this segment, has really good prospects. So right. how, how long have it been for you now that you've entered? At what year did you enter? So we, we, we are a new entrant in this segment and uh, uh, the entire segment itself is new. Uh, we've been in this segment now for three years, uh, wherein we've been you know promoting these uh, uh, goods to all the uh, customers. Uh, the overall segment is also uh, fairly new. I mean, uh, people are now, uh, you know, converting themselves to new age technology and understanding this. So, yes, I mean, the segment as well as we both are uh, new to this, to the field. Okay. So, what is your, uh, you know, offerings now? Do you offer a full cut? What, what are your offerings? Do you offer full curtain siders room? You offer, uh, say, you know, side uh, panels? What, what do you offer in, in this segment now? So we offer we offer the entire segment. Uh, what we offer is the side uh, uh, slider systems. We offer the back, uh, you know, the door uh, sliding uh, uh, roof doors, and we also uh, uh, not the sliding roof, uh, the sliding roof also we supply. So fixed and sliding both, uh, we we supply that. So we can, I mean, a complete system can be provided to the customer uh, depending on their need. So versus as a as a as a company also has a, a lot of advanced systems uh, uh, which is available today in uh, with them wherein you can have you know uh, the roof lifting roofs also uh, you can have uh, complete uh, pillared uh, side uh, railings uh, at the moment we are starting with the most uh, basic products uh, to the customers and you know as and when the requirements and understanding uh, gets better we will be uh, uh, you know supplying those product ranges also in India. All right. That's upon a really nice point, as in the growing understanding among the transporters. So, how has yes. been your interaction with them? Uh, what have been their demands? Do you supply, you know, prototypes, or how many prototypes you you know have done so far in the last three years, and what are their demands? 
so we've supplied a couple of uh, uh, trucks we've already done uh, quite a few trucks we've done and uh, uh, you know it's more about the transition from uh, from uh, the cu current existing system to a new system obviously they, it's more like a concept selling where people still need to understand why do we need these uh, newer things and why do we need to change what is the cost implications of that uh, obviously as a country we have different challenges also in front of us which is you know may, uh, maybe the uh, road uh, challenges the theft theft challenges so there are different challenges that come in front of the customers uh, which uh, need to be addressed and uh, which is what we are addressing to the customers today and uh, the understanding i think the customers are uh, really uh, keen to change over uh, uh, keeping in mind cost obviously is a very big uh, you know the biggest concern today where um, uh, we we might be more uh, premium to a hard body but uh, thankfully the uh, the uh, you know feedback has been very positive so everybody is looking at that change at some point or the other Right. so it's it's more like uh, you know there would be a timing where people would be going in higher numbers of uh, you know uh, these kind of bodies to change over got it and how has been your association with versus omega what are they pushing you for uh, what is the strategy or collaboration between you and versus in terms of you know assembling product uh, you know roll over a few words on your collaboration so versus versus has been uh, i think uh, one of by far most supportive company i have come across uh, wherein they are uh, they are not pushing whatever they have and saying that this needs to be sold but uh, rather what is the customer demand which we can you know change ourselves to reach out to the indian customers because it's not like what is selling in europe will be selling in india and will be selling in any parts of asia also mm -hmm. so they are trying to change themselves with that uh with their help we have been also able to localize a few parts wherein we can be able to get the cost down uh but the most critical parts still come from them so that you know the quality is maintained and you know we, we are able to give our customers the best in terms of quality as well as pricing uh, uh their their understanding is completely go uh, you know uh, with what the local demand is uh, let's not just push whatever is available with us and just uh, tell the customer okay we have a good product and we will sell that because Uh, europe there are there are different things that are selling right now but in india you know we are we are starting with the step first step and they've been extremely supportive about that uh, mm -hmm. we've also you know uh, we also have our own demo kit which has been provided by them so we can have a you know uh, uh, you know demo to the customers to show them how the product runs so that they can have a first as first hand experience before purchasing the product so we okay. also do invite customers to have a look at uh, the demo kit Uh, we have videos we have a lot of marketing material from versus which shows the different kinds of products so they've been extremely supportive and their way forward is to grow the indian market together correct correct and and uh, how have been your manufacturing setup with this regard in since you source material from versus omega then the localization content must be very minimum uh, how do you tune in the so, products for the cost effective or cost conscious indian customer so we 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 are producing uh, we are getting a lot of things made locally uh, which is uh, which is basically uh, uh, you know less less technical but uh, more uh, you know space consuming and you know importing would be an uh, expensive cost so we have we have localized those parts whereas the rollers uh, still come from versus because that's a patented technology of uh, versus uh and uh, the curtains are manufactured very much in india in our plant so you know anything that uh, the customer requires in terms of colors print or uh, sizes is all done here so uh, you know that way our local content is quite high now and uh, that's why we've been able to be more cost effective than when we when we started off and that's all completely you know supported by versus so uh, in terms of technical and quality catered with with their support so that we ensure that we give the same quality to our customers here which is available in, in europe so that uh, you know we don't we don't we're not compromising anywhere on the quality we are just localizing the products here right, right. i know i mean a lot of uh, these uh, international products have to be tailor made to suit the indian requirement and uh, Absolutely. So can you share a few instances uh, you know at least couple of instances where you have handled the client in Uh, you know, making them understand that this will work for their application, be it a cement client or a you know a steel roller client. Is there some you know on the top of your head that you can you know 
tell us about how you uh, you know handled the client in uh, telling them the USPs of your product, be it in light weighting, be it in easier loading or unloading of the the, the products or anything else that I may. So we 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 uh, there are instances where we've done demo uh, uh, you know uh, kits with our customers wherein we said that you know you uh, we've provided the products to them and said that you know we we we. won't even ask you for the uh, commercials of these uh, you know the the fitments that we are doing mm-hmm. to you and why don't you do the trials and then get back to us that you know with your feedback so that we understand what you require because we do understand that these volumes could be very large but unless you have a first hand experience and usage you will never know uh, you know what 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 is the outcome of that product it's like driving a manual uh, car versus an automatic so you know i need to test drive the car to know that oh in the city drive this is going to be far more easier for me so unless i use it and he said that okay loading unloading time my manpower my uh, you know my efficiencies are really going high and my turnaround for my truck is becoming much better right. unless we do that it's it's very difficult to tell them over a presentation or you know uh, of of those sorts so we did we have done that in the past and uh, those uh, you know feedbacks have been very very positive and uh, those are the customers whom we we are looking now uh, you know uh, with the appropriate time where you know when we know that this industry is going to really explode is where we are going to be really we go we are going to be present there that time so obviously mm-hmm. with a lot of uh, you know challenges in this 2020 with uh, yeah. you know pandemic and things mm-hmm. like that uh there has been a, a you know back seat of a lot of things but we see that 2021 2022 will be really really good these things are just going to you know uh, grow in india i mean we we as a country I, we we are very efficient i mean we think very efficiently and cost wise so okay. this is going to be something which is going to be for the future okay. and and would you be able to share with us uh, the segments in which you have supplied these uh... Cut inside us. Uh, we've done it in different segments: uh, auto, beverages, and uh, uh, you know, uh, these are the main two segments that we've been focusing on. Right. Uh, we are focusing on other segments also at the moment, uh, um, and I think it's 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 going to be a matter of time where we'll enter those segments also. Uh, mainly, uh, we we are targeting palletized goods, so that's where we do that, and not uh, you know the ad hoc uh, segments. So anything which is palletized or standard is where we you know we are working on so there are different segments that we've been working on that all right and given the the whole size of the industry since it's an, it's in a nascent stage already uh, you know still in a nascent stage uh, is there a ballpark figure or a volume that you try to keep in mind while while pushing this or like is there a medium to long term goal for how much do you want to do per annum so we our target uh, obviously was much higher for 2020 which has gone uh, for a toss mm-hmm. but we we see we we are hoping in 2021 we would be at least be able to convert uh, maybe 250 300 trucks in in uh, 2021 and uh, so and so forth increase our volumes uh, there after you know it's it's about uh, it's about the first step that we will take and you know do the first uh, volumes which would uh, which at the moment don't matter to us in terms of what we do but what matters is the segments that we do into so that right. you know if we are able to do it in in uh, many different segments we know that our volumes will come in automatically because once the customer uses it he understands it he is able to uh, really draw out a benefit out of this and that's our ultimate goal unless my customer is benefiting uh, i don't i'm not in business so i have to ensure that they benefit so every segment that we work on we want to work closely with them in on all parameters of benefit and if we can see the benefit uh, and the customer is happy i think the volumes won't be a concern at all mm-hmm. i think this market is going to be really really big, big in the future yeah now coming to uh, you know in terms of your overall experience uh, since you have been a player in this the cover providing segment you have been in this industry from the car and the two wheeler the segment how different was this as a challenge for you as a uh, you know cover provider since the other segment that you are uh, you know passionate into is more of an individual choice driven here the customer is looking for a truck which he may not be so much passionate about but it's more about a commercial driven where he is using it for a client so the transporter may not be that uh, choosy or picky about what he is using in terms of the color or the quality 
uh, but definitely in terms of saving cost and all. So how has been th- that experience in terms of choices between customers? I think it's been pretty similar. I mean, if you say both were concept selling, when we started off with the body cover segment, we were the mm-hmm. first ones in India converting it, uh, you know, the, the kind of volumes and uh, the good quality products that we started was pretty much the same. I mean, we had similar concept selling issues with customers that uh, why should I buy such an expensive product? Why should I go with a premium DuPont Tyvek product? And that's how we needed to explain to them the benefits right. of that product. Mm-hmm. In this case, what happens is that uh, the the uh, the customer we work with the transporters we work with the uh, customers and we understand you know maybe their concerns or pain points or even their requirements together mm-hmm. so it's not just the transporter or just the customer the end user but both of them and what happens is that uh, the transporter is obviously looking at a benefit the customer is looking at a benefit and it's a concept that we need to sell to them. Uh, yes, I can understand that the the uh, you know the ultimate goal is not the uh, the look of the product, but the uh, uh, you know the efficient usage of the product. Okay. However, you know if if my truck looks really nice and uh, fancy and uh, still gives me efficiency, I I don't think I'm going to complain. So, both ways, yes, it, it's it's been concept selling for us, and uh, making people understand in terms of what's the benefit. See, even in car covers, we had to explain customers what the benefit is of using a car cover. I mean, in terms of scratches, in terms of bird droppings or whatever, and the life of your product. And here we are talking about, uh, you know, efficiencies and uh, the, you know, the ease of use. And what is your maintenance cost coming down? So in both cases, we, we had to sell the concept to the customers. Okay. And in this regard, then how are you positioned in terms of, uh, say your sales after sales service and maintenance. Do you offer comprehensive warranty? Do you back it up with your uh, you know maintenance or service team, or do you train them to? So we we, them we have tied up with uh, we've tied up with trailer manufacturers. Uh, you know who whom we supply or provide any uh, concerns in terms of spare parts or backup they require. Um, in terms of the product uh, itself, there is no no concerns uh, mm-hmm. in terms of product, but. There, there are all the chances of damages happening while it is being used on the road, which could include even accidents or anything of that sort. So we have backup of every of our parts available with us, which we can replace uh, with our, uh, you know, with uh, the customer or the trailer manufacturers or any any thing of that sort. So that that won't be a problem at all. Got it, got I mean, it. our customers will not suffer at any given time. Got it. And, and uh, speaking again about the product, at what stage you are? Are these all manual products as in manually operated or do you also see automation coming in in terms of, you know, curtain side roof or, you know, the side uh, curtain slide sliders? Are the automated or it's still manually yeah, handled? So it, right now, it's a, it's, it's a uh, manual process, uh, uh, but which takes not, I mean, to open the two uh, sides of a truck would not take more than a minute or two uh, okay. for in the manual process itself. Uh, we don't see automation happening very quickly because the cost may be very, very high, but the roof has some kind of automation. Hydraulic roofs are available. Mm. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, we as a country are uh, very, we adapt really fast. So I will not be surprised if those kind of demands start coming in very, very soon to us. Uh, at the moment, uh, the cost, uh, may not be very viable for a total automation, but like I said, it's just a minute or two, so it's it doesn't take much time to open up a complete truck. So uh, that itself is the manual process itself is not very very uh, time consuming. Right. And uh, in terms of the overall revenue coming from this segment of your business, uh, of course, the body cover from cars and two wheelers still is the major chunk of your business. How much is this segment? currently and where do you want to take it in the next two to three years uh, it's it's right now it's very very small as in terms of the you can, you can, share, some, we have. You can share some percentage if you do not if you do not want uh, to wish the number. i would say as low as five percent of our revenues come from here okay. uh but what i what we see is that uh, this business is you know going to be taking off uh it will take off i mean the entire concept will take off Right. And that's when, you know, this will be a big chunk of our revenues. And I, I'm sure it could go as high as even, you know, 20% of our revenues coming from this segment or more. 
um, you know, just to give you an example, when we started off Tyvek, Tyvek was, you know, as low as maybe 2% to 3% of our revenues. And today it, it it's a major chunk of our revenues also come from DuPont Tyvek because we grew that segment. We grew the concept over the years. And now with 15 years of, you know, selling the concept, it's, it's a good chunk of our revenues that come from that. And that's what is going to happen in this segment also with us. That, you know, we will see the segment growing at some point where it will be a substantial part of our revenues. And a few words on your manufacturing strength in terms of your two plants you mentioned. Uh, how equipped, well equipped they are in terms of both human resource as well as automation. And uh, how did you cope up with COVID and what are the learnings or opportunities that you see, uh, you know, coming out of this whole pandemic and going forward? Uh, in terms of manufacturing, we we are equipped for high volume business. I mean, our body cover is a high volume business. Like I mentioned, that we do about three and a half thousand pieces per day. Okay. So we we are able to manage volumes uh, with uh, you know uh, uh, qual with quality. So uh, volumes and quality is something that we've been able to manage, and that's why we've been supplying to all the OEMs in India. Uh, for the last uh, now 18 years that we've been supplying to them. So that's something that we've been able to manage. And uh, I think this whole, uh, the whole uh, idea behind our company was process quality. And that's what I think has helped us through this pandemic, helped us to, through these three, four months of uh, complete uh, no business kind of a scenario where we've been able to sustain ourselves uh, we also believe in keeping our, uh, you know, being very low cost because eventually that cost gets transferred to our customers. So we believe that we must keep our cost as low as possible so that we can give the lowest cost to our customer at the best quality that we can give. So uh, that's always been our aim. So uh, even in our trucking segment, we try to do the same thing that how can we give the, the best in terms of cost and quality to our customer and ensure that uh, you know we are not compromising at any level so oh, that's yeah. i think that's what has kept us going in this pandemic and we've i think now come out much more stronger saying that you know quality and cost both go hand in hand and we need to concentrate even more stronger now in this in in the coming months all right very nice so i understand the whole uh, in house uh, material or in house capacity that you have developed over these years have helped you sail through you know, these tough times. And so you also have design inbuilt. You, you do the designing in-house in consultation with your clients, be it OEMs or direct customers. Yes, whatever their basic requirements are, yes, we do it in-house. We do that. Even in the trucking segment, the designing and the drawings are shared by customers, which we do it in-house. So uh, uh, we are able to understand their requirement and then, you know, work work as per the requirements. We don't, they, they, none of our products are, you know, standard. I mean, they would be custom built to the customers. What is the ideal, uh, say, an average turnaround time from design to delivery? Uh, most of our parts are available with us. So it's okay. just about, uh, you know, their sizes and uh, their okay. requirements. So mm -hmm. if, it's a, if it's a product without print or with print, it depends on that. But I think it's the, as, as the, uh, you know, 15 days to 20 days to, uh, you know, give our products and Installation could be as low as one or two days. So, okay. you know, okay. that's that's the kind of things that we can do. But if it's like a recurring order or if it's something of that sort, time frames will reduce much more. Correct. Correct. So if I now understand it correct and if I want to, you know, kind of uh, put it in brackets, you work with OEMs, then the transporters and then also the end customers, right? So you have all the three segments covered or you... Uh, only so we have all the three segments covered. We Correct. have all the three yeah. segments covered. Yes. Okay. Any other segment that you see Polco offering their services that you know is still in a very nascent stage, and you want to, uh, you know, use or leverage your expertise in that segment, be it construction equipment or, uh, you know, aftermarket, which uh, might be an op opportunity for you. We are working, like I said, with trailer manufacturers. So mm -hmm. we. They're trying to reach out to all customers uh, in every segment and understand their requirements and needs and uh, concerns. See, right now there are more questions than uh, you know uh, anything else. So unless we reach out to customers and keep answering their questions and queries, we'll not be able to 
uh, ultimately satisfy them and then uh, you know convert them into our product uh, requirements so that's what our main aim right now is we our aim is not to sell the product by itself but to make our customers understand the need of the the product so once we are able to do that converting a customer is not going to be a concern so it's not right. more like a forced sale we we don't want any forced sales right now because we want customers to be you know ultimately satisfied got it got it one last question towards the end in terms of your market uh, do you cater to the only indian domestic market or you look at uh, businesses you know outside india as well both in no india. at the moment complete domestic market because this market is huge and india okay. market is really really big and uh, i think there would be a point of time where uh, you know uh, we'll reach a point where we'll have to re really struggle with the volumes that we will we'll be getting through I, i i mean i can totally foresee that happening and uh, thankfully for us versus omega is uh, totally backing us so we know that when once those volume comes in uh, we'll have no shortage of support from them so we'll be having the complete push to come into the market in fact you will be looking at uh, expansion then from the two plants that you have currently you will have to look for for oh, yes. the demand this, this would be a complete new setup that we'll you know once the volumes come in this setup will be completely uh, separated from our current setup it, okay. it uh, i don't think we'll be in a position to do it in our current facilities and at what stage is or uh, the current utilization for both the plants as in the percentage of utilization from both the plants uh we've been we've been uh, blessed we have we we've, we've expanded some facility now uh, post covid so we've been blessed to uh, few, one of the few people where we you know we had to expand our facility rather than struggle with the capacity so we've okay. expanded uh, you know uh, quite a bit in this in the last couple of months thank you again sure. thank you for spending time with us thank thanks a lot rajesh okay. thank you so thank much you.